The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you partially transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, you know, makes Philadelphia brand cream cheese, the cream cheese that's been famous for quality since 1880. Delicious, creamy white Philadelphia brand is so popular, it outsells all other brands of cream cheese combined. Enjoy it often. Just be sure you get genuine Philadelphia brand when you buy. Look for the red Kraft K on the silvery package. Remember, there's only one Philadelphia brand cream cheese, and it's made by Kraft and guaranteed fresh. Well, the great Gildersleeve is facing the same situation every parent faces sooner or later. Leroy is growing up. Nowadays, it seems the boy's pants are too short and his shoes too small almost before the water commissioner gets the bills for them. And that isn't the only way Leroy is branching out. Instead of living in a wild western world of pistol shots and galloping hoofs, he likes to gallop off after dinner and hang around with the boys. See you later, Unc. Leroy, where are you going tonight? Just out of the corner. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing, my boy. Well, what's going on down there? I'm just meeting Tiger and the guys. You Tiger? Tiger Davis, a big wheel on the football team. You're not going to play football under the streetlight. No, we're just going to stand around. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Well, nothing, I'm sure. But it's a school night. What about your homework? I'll be back early. Can I go now? Tiger's waiting. Yeah, I suppose so. But be back by 8 o'clock at the latest. Sure. What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's a new expression. I wonder where he picked that up. It isn't that I want to check up on Leroy. There's no harm in knowing what kind of company he keeps. I wouldn't be a good parent if I didn't. Yeah, I don't see him hanging around the corner anywhere. Getting close to 8 o'clock. You think I'll stop in and ask Peavy if he's seen it? Hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you this evening? Hey, Peavy, you haven't seen anything of Leroy and his crowd, have you? Uh, not yet, but some of them usually drop in about this time on their way home. Peavy, I don't like the idea of boys Leroy's age drifting around after dinner. Well, if it's any comfort to you... I've watched them come and go around this corner for 40 years. And I can remember only one young man who didn't turn out as well as I thought he was going to. Well, who was that, Peavy? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't agree with that. But uh, running a drugstore, you do get a chance to observe the kids. What do they do every evening? Well, they just stand around and talk about this and that. All evening? Well, it's the awkward age, Mr. Gildersleeve. It takes all evening to find something to talk about. Yeah, that sounds innocent enough. Peavy, what do you know about this Tiger Davis? Well, Tiger has quite a reputation. Oh, what kind? Well, you can eat more banana splits than anybody in town. Yo. <laughs> well, here they come now. Hi, Mr. Peavy. Hi, Mr. Peavy. Hello, boy. Hi, Unc. Hello, Leroy. Unc, this is my old pal, Tiger. He and I are pals. Hello, Tiger. Hiya, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh... Uh, Gildersleeve. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you were the water commissioner, but I didn't know your last name, Dad. Phoebe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Tiger, it's uh, nice to meet you at last. Leroy's talked a lot about you. Yeah. Well, when you're the first string quarterback on the football team, everybody wants to know you. I see. Well, you aren't looking for me, Unc. Well, not exactly. In fact, definitely not. Now that you mention it, you said you'd be home by 8 o'clock and it's five minutes after. Well, I would have been home by now, Uncle, but there was a keen fight down the street. You don't say. You fight? Sure. Le What's wrong with that? Leroy, have you been in a fight? Heck no, it was in a store window. Television. Oh, television. <laughs> well, sure. What's wrong with that? 
So that's where Leroy picked it up. <laughs> well, you better be getting on home, Leroy. I'll walk on ahead with Tiger, Unc. Yeah, all right. Good night, Tiger. Good night. Good night, boys. Good night. It's after eight, Peavy. Are you going to close up? No, I may stay open another hour. Till nine o'clock? Sure. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Peavy, you too? Coffee, Mr. Gilsey? About half a cup, Bertie. Thank you. Yes, sir. How about you, Miss Marjorie? Oh, no, thanks, Bertie. I'll wait for Bronco. Yes, ma'am. Sorry I'm a little late with breakfast, but Leroy was in such a hurry for me to pack his lunch. Yeah, he left like a shot out of a gun again. <laughs> he even went off and forgot his book. You know, Marjorie, I'm a little concerned about Leroy. I hate to think what his report card will look like. Leroy's smart about everything else. I don't know why he, he don't get grades like little Babs across the street. She's a grade A student. <laughs> Leroy's a grade D minus. <laughs> well, some boys just find it hard to study, Yankee. I know Bronco did until he started studying nights with somebody else. You? Know, who? Me. Yeah. <laughs> right, George, that's a thought. I wonder if we could get Leroy interested in studying with Babs. Well, do you think you could get Babs interested in studying with Leroy? Yeah. Well, she seems to like Leroy. And Leroy's a total loss around girls. Look her out the window, Unky. Babs is on her way to school now. You? Yes. <laughs> She's such a cute girl. Yeah, I think I'll run out and ask her if she'll do her homework with Leroy. Excuse yes. me, Margie. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to hurry before she gets away. Good luck, Unky. Yeah, I don't like to ask favors of Babs. But she'll do this for Leroy. Sure. Babs! Babs! You calling me, Mr. Gildersleeve? Yes, I'd like to have a word with you. I'm on my way to school. You will. I'll walk to the corner with you. That's a very pretty dress you're wearing this morning. It isn't a dress. It's a skirt and sweater. Yeah, well, anyway, it's pretty. Thank you. Babs, I hear you're an A student. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I was wondering, Babs, if you'd care to come over this evening and do your homework with Leroy. Why don't you help him with his homework? Me? You can do ninth grade stuff, can't you? Well, I went to school, of course, but that was some time ago. Yeah, I really think you're the one who can help Leroy. Mr. Gildersleeve, Leroy is beyond help. Really? When, when I try to talk to him, he just hangs his head and kicks the ground and giggles. Yeah, well, ma'am, he's at the awkward age. He certainly is. Young girls seem to have more poise than boys. Leroy's just growing up. He's still shy. So when you see him, why don't you suggest coming over and studying tonight? Yeah, I think I know what you'll get for an answer. So do I. He'll hang his head and go... <laughs> I guess she's right. Leroy's a bigger problem than I thought. <laughs> clock. I haven't gotten out all the water bills. Around the end of the month, I wish the department didn't have so many customers. Come in. Hello, Gildy. Hello, Judge. Why, Gildy, you're working. You bet. I have to send out these water bills. Well, I can speed that up for you. You how? When you come to mine, just toss it in the wastebasket. <laughs> <laughs> You old goat. I just saw Leroy on the street with his sidekick, Tiger Davis. You did? Yeah, they were on their way home from school. Leroy was carrying Tiger's books, and Tiger was riding Leroy's bike. Oh, my goodness. Judge, what do you know about this Tiger? He seems to be a popular boy. I know his father. He's with the Internal Revenue Department. At least he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess the boy's all right. But I'd like to see Leroy spend more evenings at home, studying. Gildy, have you ever thought of inviting Tiger into your home? Well, no. 
in addition to opening your home to Leroy's friends, you'll have an opportunity to observe the company he keeps. Not that I think Leroy is forming the wrong friendships. Judge, that's a fine idea. I'll have Leroy invite him out. I would. Sure. Is Tiger and Leroy say? What's wrong with that, Dad? What? In, nothing, Judge. You just not help, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Is Leroy out again this evening, Auntie? He'll be back in a few minutes, Marjorie. He's bringing Tiger to the house tonight. They're coming over here? Yeah, my idea. A shrewd little plan to keep them at home. And Leroy is delighted. But, Anki, what'll they do here? Oh, we'll popcorn, toast marshmallows. Anki, you seem to forget. Leroy is way past that stage. No, oh, Margie, don't worry. I'll keep things rolling. Go right in, Tiger, old pal. Here they are now. I'm going to run upstairs, Anki. This is your party. Anki? In here, Leroy. Hello, Tiger. Hiya, Mr. Gildersleeve. Nice of you to invite me over. Well, glad you came. Do, Unc. Well, if anybody gets hungry, we might toast some marshmallows. Toast marshmallows? <laughs> oh, you have a great sense of humor, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with toasting marshmallows? Ah, kid stuff. Have you got a ping pong table, Leroy? We can play ping pong. Well, gosh, no. Well, you can't play ping pong, but Leroy can play the piano. The piano? goes with you and the piano, Junior? Well, gee, gosh, I used to play, but I haven't touched it since I was a kid. You, my goodness. I got them into the house now. What'll I do with them? I'll get it! What was that? <laughs> yeah, I'll get it, Bertie. Good evening, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, Babs, I didn't think you were coming over this evening. Come in. I decided to help Leroy with his homework. Good. Hi, Babs. Hello, Leroy. What's this about homework? Uh, Babs, this is Tiger Davis. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, I've seen you at school. I haven't seen you. What's this about homework? Leroy, this morning your uncle asked me to come over and help you with your homework. Oh, Unc! Didn't you, Mr. Gildersleeve? Well, Yes. Leroy, you should study more. Study with a girl? Leroy. Well, Tiger, I'm being framed. I don't study with girls. No? What's wrong with that? What? Get with it, Junior. She's got it. <laughs> Leroy, I didn't ask to study with you, and if that's the way you feel, I'll just go home. Yeah, but, Babs... Gosh, I hadn't planned on studying right now. Uh, <clears throat> Junior. Yeah, Tiger? Well, if you're not going to study with Babs, uh, I think I will. Yeah? Tiger, we can't study together. We don't take the same subjects. Well, I'm shifty. I'll change my course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you football players. You brother. Good night, Mr. Gildersleeve. It's perfectly obvious that Leroy doesn't want to study with me. Yeah, but Babs... Uh, well, I, uh, I have to leave early, too. <laughs> so, uh, see you home, Babs. Thank you. Gosh, Tiger, you're not leaving. Junior, the girl has books to carry. Good night, Mr. Gildersleeve. Good night. Good night. I'm sorry, Leroy. What's there to be sorry for? You'll soon find out who your pals are. And anybody who studies with girls is no pal of mine. Well, perhaps it all turned out for the best, my boy. Now you can buckle down to your homework. Leroy? Leroy? Yeah? Where are you going? Upstairs to study? I'm going to bed. How do you figure a boy his age? The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Here's a wonderful new way you can make rich frosting and a grand fudge every time. Frosting and fudge that's never grainy, never too hard, never too soft, but always creamy smooth. Frosting and fudge that's easy to make without cooking. You do it with Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Have a pencil and paper handy 
And in just a minute, I'll tell you where to write for your free, that's right, free pamphlet with more than 20 easy recipes for making wonderful fudge and frosting with Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Philadelphia brand gives fudge and frosting a wonderful, delicate, rich taste because this cream cheese is made with lots of fine milk and thick cream. And Philadelphia cream cheese keeps fudge and frosting moist and fresh tasting longer. You know, Philadelphia brand cream cheese is guaranteed fresh by Kraft. So always be sure you use genuine Philadelphia brand. Look for the red Kraft K that's on every silvery package of genuine Philadelphia brand to help you pick the real thing at a glance. Remember, genuine Philadelphia brand is made only by Kraft. Now, to get your free pamphlet with more than 20 easy recipes for delicious Philly fudge and frosting, just write to Kraft Kitchen, Box 6567, Department G, Chicago 77, Illinois. That address again, Kraft Kitchen, Box 6567, Department G, Chicago 77, Illinois. Write tonight. <laughs> Well, in order to get Leroy to concentrate on his homework, the great Gildersleeve invited pretty little Babs over to help him study. But since Leroy's idol, Tiger Davis, concentrated on Babs, Leroy hasn't been able to concentrate on anything. You know, all I started out to do was to get Leroy to spend more time at home. Now I can't get him to go anywhere. Yeah, I'll go up and talk to the boy again. This is getting to be a full-time job. I wonder how my grandfather ever lived to be 90 after raising a family of eight. <laughs> Leroy? Yeah? It's your old uncle. Can I come in? I guess so. What are you doing, my boy? Say, you're studying. Sure, what else is there to do? Well, that's a fine idea. But you might turn the book right side up. Uncle, why did you have to invite Babs over the other night? Well, frankly, I was a little concerned about your homework. You and Tiger were wasting too many evenings downtown. I wonder what Tiger sees in girls. You, well, Leroy, that's what happens to boys sooner or later. They start noticing girls. Sometimes it happens almost overnight. I never thought of that happen to a regular guy like Tiger. I guess I won't see him anymore. He's gone. <laughs> now, Leroy, you mustn't feel you've lost Tiger as a friend It just happens you're a little behind him, that's all I am? Yeah, what I mean is, he's growing up a little faster than you Well, I don't believe it, but he says his dad has given him a razor for Christmas Well, Leroy, it won't be too long before you need a razor yeah, I can see you and Tiger being pals again Going to school dances, maybe double dating Yeah I guess a guy just can't fight it. <laughs> well, it's really nothing to worry about. I've gone with girls for many years, and I know. Nice girls are really pretty nice. I guess I'd better do my homework, Unc. Yeah, yes. Well, I'll say good night. Good night, my boy. Good night. The way my face feels, I won't need a razor for years. <laughs> I think I'll check it in the mirror. Peach fuzz. <laughs> well, what if I did have whiskers? I still wouldn't want to go running around with girls. I don't want to see any more of Tiger either. Big shot. Calling me Junior. Well, Bab seems to like him. If I don't do something pretty soon, nobody will have anything to do with me. Maybe if I tried, I could have fun going with girls. Junior. Leroy Forrester, grow up. If Tiger can do it, so can I. Overnight. Starting tomorrow. I think I'll wear my Sunday suit to school. Everyone around here thinks I'm still a kid. I'll show them. I'll show them if it kills me. <laughs> Mr. 
Miss Gilsey, do you want me to hold breakfast for Leroy? Yeah, I suppose so, Bertie. He's a little late this morning. Yes, ma'am. Unky, mm. what's happened to Leroy? Now he doesn't see Tiger, Babs, or anybody. Here he comes now. Yeah, let's not mention Babs or girls. Leroy's a little sensitive on the subject. Poor Leroy. Yeah, come on, Leroy, we're waiting. Thank you, Unc. Good morning, Marjorie. Good morning, Bertie. Good morning, Leroy. Leroy, you're wearing your good suit. Sure. What's wrong with that? Do I smell shaving lotion on you, my boy? I borrowed a little of yours to get my face used to it. I may be shaving before very long. Maybe by Christmas. Well, it won't be too long. Glad to see you're feeling better this morning, my boy. Yeah, I feel great. You look very nice. You think you should be wearing your good suit to school? Uh, you have clean blue jeans, Leroy. Well, jeans are okay, but I might as well get some use out of this suit. I'll be growing out of it soon. Oh, yes, yes, you will. Leroy, why do you keep watching the window? I don't want to miss Babs when she starts for school. What's this? You're going to walk to school with Babs? Get with it, Marge. The girl has books to carry. <laughs> oh. oh. She's coming out of her house now. Excuse me. Uh, Leroy, you haven't finished your breakfast. Well, Leroy, you haven't touched your prune. I don't eat those anymore. Am I excused, Dunk? Oh, I suppose so, my boy. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Leroy. So long. See you at dinner. Now I've seen everything. That ain't like Leroy leaving the table to walk to school with a girl. It is quite a change in the boy. Yes, sir. I know he don't like prunes, but I thought he preferred prunes to girls. <laughs> <laughs> school. Oh, are you? Here, give me your books. Leroy, let go. I'll carry my own books. You can't carry your own books. The guy carries the book. Get with it. Oh, well, all right. Uh, how about meeting you after school and carrying them back? What, Leroy? And, uh, how about coming over tonight and doing homework? Leroy Forrester, the other night you said you didn't want to study with me. Well, I'm shifty. I can change my course. <laughs> Leroy, what's happened to you? Are you wearing perfume? Shaving lotion. <laughs> Shaving lotion? <laughs> Leroy, why don't you act your age? That's <laughs> just what I'm doing. <laughs> what's so funny? What are you laughing at? Oh, you're acting so silly. Just like that Tiger David. <laughs> you mean you don't like... Tiger Davis? He thinks he's so smart. <laughs> but but I, I saw... He isn't my type at all. He isn't? Shall we cross the street? Okay. What are you stopping here for? Leroy, boys old enough to use shaving lotion usually help girls across the street. What? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, sure. Let me take your hand. Thank you. It's Okay. What, uh, what kind of boys are your type, if Tiger isn't? Well, I like boys who are hmm, more natural. Like who? Well, right now, you're sort of natural. I don't feel natural. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy. Yeah, Babs? We're across the street, and you're still holding my hand. I know. <laughs> Th those children over there are giggling at us. Oh, let them giggle. They'll grow up someday. Overnight. <laughs> oh, that boy. I thought I had him straightened out. He's neglecting his homework again this evening. Well, he's not on the street corner. I'd better check with Peavy. Hello, Peavy. Yeah, hello, Mr. Gallisley. <laughs> Peavy, have you seen Leroy? Shh. He's sitting over there in the booth. Who? With that tiger again? No, this time he's with a little deer. 
Oh, bad. Well, he should be doing his homework. He's doing his homework. He is? They've been studying all evening with the same algebra book and the same soda. <laughs> well, as long as he's studying, I won't interrupt it. They wouldn't hear you anyway. They're concentrating pretty hard. You? I haven't been listening, you understand, but when I went over to ask if they wanted to order, Bab said something about pie. Pie? And Leroy said pie was 3.1416, but I don't have any of that kind of pie. <laughs> so I went away. TV, that's algebra, and you know it. <laughs> You're right, George. I'm pretty happy about this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Here's Tiger. Yo. Hiya, Mr. Gillisleeve. Is that Leroy in the booth? Uh, yes, but... Hey, Leroy! Yeah? Where you been? Come on, we're meeting the guys in the corner. Meet him yourself, Junior. Can't you see I'm with a girl? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Now, for a greater variety of delicious, easy snacks and sandwiches, get two wonderful new versions of Philadelphia brand cream cheese. There's delicate, rich Philadelphia brand filled with tangy bits of French chives and Philadelphia brand with tiny pieces of red pimento all through. To help you pick the real thing at a glance... Look for the Red Craft K that's on every package of genuine Philadelphia brand. Remember, genuine Philadelphia brand cream cheese is made only by Kraft. Look what I found back of the couch, Bertie. Leroy's cap pistol. Yeah. His Hopalong Cassidy gun belt and holster. Well, Bertie, I guess we can put these away with his baby shoes. Our cowboy has hung up his guns. <laughs> I hate to see him grow up. Well, it'll be a relief, too, in a way. No more crazy kid ideas. Won't have to suffer through any more of those silly fads. Yo-yos, water pistols... What's this? Fab's got some keen records. All the kids are getting record players. Can I get one, can I, Unc Hunk? Uh, kids don't change. They just get more expensive. <laughs> Good night, folks. Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Gil Stratton, Barbara Whiting, Earl Ross, and Dick Legrand. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. Today, the Kraft Foods Company salutes the 4-H clubs who are this week celebrating their 30th anniversary at a meeting in Chicago attended by boys and girls from every state in the Union and from Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. Kraft congratulates these junior citizens on their agricultural and homemaking achievements and on the principles expressed in this solemn pledge made by every 4-H club member. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, my health to better living, for my club, my community, and my country. Groucho Marx, you bet your life.